Hi, my name is Garrett Earls. I'm the director of sales for Alpha HD Trailers. Today we're going to go over shimming multiple components rear of the trailer, i.e. spreader bars, flip axles, and combination. So this is the pivot lock pin. This is always to be retracted when you're going down the road. This allows everything rearward of the pivot point to swing. When you're going to back up, you want the pin engaged as you see here. So one of the important things about shimming a mechanical spreader bar, stinger, uh, whatever you want to call it, booster, is you want to have more shim at the trailer and less shim going backwards. So uh, it would be more like a Christmas tree. So more, less, and less in each joint. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is break this joint open at the trailer and shim it. Now the trailer is going to be equipped with a hand raised lower valve to raise the suspension and if you need more gap you can also lower the gooseneck to the ground changing the pitch of the wheel area. First thing we can do is we can come to the driver's side of the trailer between axles two and three and turn on the hand raised lower valve. This is going to take the air from being controlled on the leveling valve to this handle right here and inflate the suspension. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to create a bigger gap opening so we can put the desired amount of shim in the joint. So we're going to disconnect the common air line. What this is going to do is going to dump the air on anything rearward of this joint. So if you have one or two axles connected, the air is going to exhaust out of those joints, opening up this joint. And as we work our way back, on this spreader bar in particular, we're gonna to have to use the landing gear to hold it up while we break the joint apart rearward of it. The shims for the spreader bar will be stored on the face of the spreader bar. Take out the desired amount of shim drop in the pocket. So after you've entered the amount of shim you'd like to start with, plug the airline back in. We're gonna work our way back to the next joint. Now on a, a spreader bar mechanical stinger, you're gonna use this landing gear to hold the spreader bar upwards while we break the joint rearwards apart. So after this is lowered, we're gonna repeat the step we just did with this connection back on this next axle. So after you put your landing gear on the ground, you're gonna work your way backwards to this next joint. Unplug that common air line. It will dump the air rearward of this joint. All right, after this joint has opened up, put the desired amount of shim in. You typically wanna have less shim in this joint and this joint than you do that joint. This has the permanent bolt-in shims, but if this was not here, you would use the supplied shims on the inside of the frame drop them in, connect the airline, the joint will now close and you're gonna work your way back to the next joint. As in the previous joints, we're gonna unplug the common airline, exhausting the air from this joint rearward, allowing us to put in the desired amount of shim. This is a pinch point, so when you're reaching in here to reconnect the airline, be very careful. The joint's now going to close, come back to the trailer with the hand raised lower valve, raise back the suspension. This will get the pressure off of the landing gear so you can retract it. Once the landing gear is up, you may now put on the load. The pitch of the wheel area and the axles in the spreader bar are going to vary from load to load. But like I said previously, the whole goal is to get everything flat so we have the same amount of weight on each axle.